All right, Hunter, you just got your prize. We do, we're going to quickly cut it, this empty deck profile. How you feeling, bro? Living this dream, boss, man. All right, one more time. Hold for the camera with everything all together. We got it. We Beautiful. Look at that price support we'll you got. We'll put the binder. We got, got full sets of cards here, bro. Crazy. One of every card for the uh, dimension for uh, default. Every card. Spell, trap, and monster. And, and that should one. be Battle of Chaos, right? Yes, sir. Ooh, that means even you use it a promo. Yeah. Ooh. Decoy. Everything. Theresia. Nice. Right. Once again, congrats. Well, we got that, the prize card as well. A Super Rare Dueling Dragon. Look at that. Congrats, bro. Alright, now we're going to cut away into the deck profile. What's going on, everybody? We're back. And I am very honored for one of the best squirtles in the game. <laughs> Mr. Uh, what's it? Introduce, you know, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking. You introduce yourself to us. My name is Hunter Lloyd. Uh, I got top eight at the North American World Championship Qualifier. Uh, I played a little dragon deck. Uh, I, say, I say little, but it's 60 cards. I lost on feature to Gozen Match. Unfortunate, but A, it is what it is. I couldn't see and you have my 10 blowout cards, so we lost. It is what it is. Win some, lose some. So, before we get into anything else, give me a quick story because I, we've played multiple times at Locals, and one of the guys at Locals like saying, Are you gonna be playing the um, the Sylvan or um, the deck? deck? Yeah. But well, you just dropped it for this last minute? I did. So, it was uh, Thursday I got here, and I just couldn't open playable with the Sun Avalon deck. So, I'm like, All right. The problem was, I left my Dragon deck at the house oh they, they just got crowned the, the finals. finals they play in the finals man that should have been me up there <laughs> i mean hey but elijah and ryan deserve it hey that's what it is it happens but um so i just couldn't open playable so i just wanted to switch decks so we had to scramble the entire deck together on thursday night got my deck list and submitted next day call it a day it worked out so yes, any uh, shout outs before we start i want to shout out everyone from prodigy games I want to shout out my boy Nikolai right here. Yo. Roots, uh, Kenny, Willie, everyone, Pichu, everyone that I played. I appreciate everyone for helping me. Yeah, like Vic also helped out, right? Exactly, Big Vic. I, getting all the cards I needed on the spot was really tough. I already had all the staples. It was just the Dragon Link part because I left my deck at home. So, you know, it's tough. But, but all right, let's get into the profile. Game. All right. So we're going to start out with our little right engine. I got Triple Enchantress and one Griffin Rider. It's the only ones you play. You don't need a legal knight. Like, you can come up for Chaos Space to add the dark, but like a lot of the times you're just searching this for the negate because you just need a combo to go through. Um, for like mild, like not dragon cards, you have like the one, 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 and one. These are like the pseudo bricks that you would prefer to have like for certain situations. The Chaos Space bricks, I don't play Illusion or Souls just because I didn't feel like they came up enough. Um, yeah, they're technically free extenders and they draw cards. It's just like I didn't have enough deck space to play them. Mm -hmm. It was kind of hard. The Strudo comes up for if you just need a sustainable tuner off uh, Foolish Burial. And then Snow is like an FPK card and it helps like a lot of matchups like um, Marincess, Salad, you know, Sword Soul. Like a lot of those decks just inherently lose to Snow, so you just have to play it. And if you can get Snow, you always try to get the Snow because it needs a lot of more decks. Uh, for like a small Dragon Engine, put that guy's. And then I also play one tracer, one, one, and one. Whoa, you want to play one tracer? Yeah, so oh, I am... got to be gold. <laughs> I only play my one tracer because I just felt like a lot of the time you're already sending it off, uh, or adding it off this anyway. So there's no reason to play more than one. Like, yeah, sometimes it can come up if you're just like activating quick launch. But then at that point, like, you already have access to it, so you're just sending Destrudo. So anyway, like, the Destrudo acts as the second Tracer in that scenario, so it just makes it easier. You can do both the Tracer effect and Destrudo effect in the same turn. Kill it. So that's, like, a small... That's my, like, small Dragon Engine to keep killing them. Uh, I played a small Punk Engine. Just one, one, and one. Because that's all you need. You don't want to, like, the hacks out on your punks because you don't want to really draw these cards. You want to draw E-Telly, which does, like... Which gets you just so far. Like if you just activate E Telly and like Chaos Resolves, getting back this, you're just so much farther ahead than every other deck. 
Just for like no reason. Just because it can get you so many cards. Uh, for hand traps, I played a lot of really good going second cards. Like I mained a Gamma because you, uh, you have so many power spells. Like with Enchantress, Quick Launch, Chaos Space, like e -Telly. Like you have all those cards to keep playing. And a lot of people just inherently played into it because no one expects main deck Gamma. So it really helps a lot. Uh, three Nibiru. It also helps with this light. Three Nibiru. Light Monster. One of the best hand traps. Beat Sword. Soul beats like 90% of the decks in the format. The only time it's rough is like obviously Striker, Flunder, and Despia. Where like then you obviously like put it down. Uh, but you still keep one in for cross out. Three Veiler. Uh, and three Imperm. Uh, I play both because you just need to max out on your defensive cards because you're playing a combo deck in a very uh, like mid-range heavy format and a lot of these cards inherently beat a lot of the meta decks at the moment. So like, I play this one specifically with Flunderies because if they shift for you, you still activate it. That's like the main reason for it. Uh, yeah, it's not like a tuner, light, or dark monster, it's a trap card, um, but there's still a lot of implications. You could also activate it on your turn so it's still not a dead card drunk or going second either, like if you not deck it, unlike a lot of these other cards, like, except for Gamma, obviously. Uh, three droplet for my to round up my like effect negation type cards. Um, so I try to like in this list I try to like find as many ways as I could try to play the game as possible. So I try to max out on my effect negation cards because honestly just effect negation in this format's really good for just a lot of different reasons. Uh, there's also the application of getting your cards off the board so you can try to tease people with like um, uh, one of my more like better ones uh, in this deck is a. Uh, like popping something and then chaining this to get it off the board to dodge screens. It doesn't really come up much, but if you could do it, you try it. Uh, two Ash, two Ghost Ogre, one Droll. This one, you only play it for Despia. If it wasn't like because of Despia's in the format, I literally would cut it immediately because A, it's not a light or a dark. And honestly, I think Ash is just a terrible card. But uh, this one, it's a light monster, and it's really good into the adventure cards, and then this one is really good into the high rolling combo decks, but you only play one uh, for cross out in the main deck, because not a lot of decks like Sword, Soul, or Despia really care, so it's like, okay. Uh, one driver for the Gammas, obviously. And that's all my going, like, second cards. I think it's like 23 of them or something. Second slash defensive cards. Yeah. So, for power spells, I have right, quick launch, cross out, space, Telly. Simple. 15. And then for like other cards. Pretty standard. Uh, this has multiple versatility. It can either get you to Tracer, uh, well, add Thrides and add Tracer. Enchantress for two monsters. Uh, it gives you to Shrudo if you already have access to Tracer or it can send uh, snow if you already like get interrupted and you just need like an ending thing. Um, everything else is really standard. Like if you're playing them, you just play it. Uh, I didn't win a lot of dice rolls, so like, but cross out was still okay. Like inherently in a grand scheme of things, it did a lot of what it needed to. That's all that matters. For my extra deck, uh, it's, I, I, I think some people would think it more as questionable. I'm gonna start off with the synchros that I play. Obviously one riser, cause you gotta play it for snow. One ruler, one savage, one hot red, one baron. A lot of people cut hot red. I actually like them a lot. I actually did uh, the anti dark ruler play a lot this weekend, and he actually summoned back um, like tracer a couple times to actually make savage. So I have extra negation also. So it actually really came up in a lot of games, and I'm really happy that I did play. Um, for next, Link One, Pisty, obviously this for link twos i play charmer this this and this this one never came up for me i actually never summoned back from the graveyard it, it was just an arrow uh link three that's the only one i play i don't play triple burst my two link fours came up as many times as i love it this card is amazing literally no one expected this card like i even got elijah green with this card that's crazy uh, and then this. Uh, triple Burst never comes up for me. Like, any time I would need Triple Burst, I just make Apo instead, and it does literally the same thing, but it gives you more negations. Because, like, your ending board literally ends up being, like, Apo, IP, and, do like, with a Romulus in the corner, and then the snow you're bringing back to make Boral end. And then you have, like, either Savage or Hot Red in the corner, assuming you couldn't, like, make Baron because you had an Aether card, which happened most of the time. Um, so then your board ends up being, like, just as strong, but, like, better 
because you got to make both IP and Borderland. But the I like the Apo is literally just on the board first before the Borderland, so you can just negate like any card. So it's crazy. Um, next is my side deck. Two drolls. Just the other two copies, you know, pretty standard. Like, if you're gonna, like, if you're playing against, like, a heavy combo, like, like Drytron or the Mirror, you gotta play them. Because you just need to stop, like, searching. Obviously, one reboot. If I saw any of these cards, I would have beat Eliza. Pretty bad. So sad. Unfortunate. Uh, I only own two Storm. That's it. So I just replaced it with a Duster. Uh, three Ruler, and three Mind. Uh, never activated it, never saw it, never needed it. Whoa, 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 Didn't you activate against that Dragtron guy? You right. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> you right. I lied. I that card, win, that card's I, a menace. Please. I did. I did win a game against. I Thank, won one. Game. Hey, uh, anybody who won with that card, hopefully Konami takes notice to get that card removed. One billion percent. I agree. Well, you had a phenomenal run, and really happy to see you play. Was still happy to watch you. He, Lost in top eight, but you got top eight at Nats, bro. You get top eight at Nats. Not a lot of people can say that. That is true. And you can go back to local, and everyone's going to be like, oh my god, Hunter, you did so well. And I'm like, sit down, papito. <laughs> I need my store credit. <laughs> oh, my god. Shout out, shout out to our Florida people. And I guess they, a big play just happened uh, to the finals. But yeah, congrats, and we'll see you, soon. I'll see you later on. Have a good day.